Dear friends, Assalamu alaikum. I am MD Ali Asgur. Welcome to my new YouTube channel. Today I want to describe about PLC. If you want to know what is PLC, how does it work, and what about the programming of PLC. That means if you know nothing or something about PLC, this video only for you. So let's start the video. As per of a beginners must be no history of PLC and how it come in industrial application you must be no history of PLC again welcome to my uh, planet automation limited uh, this is my uh, first video in the lecture zero one today's uh, topics about PLC we can learn about uh, this class what is the uh, PLC, disk, uh, history of PLC, advantages and disadvantages of PLC, application of PLC, block diagram of PLC, input output, um, diagram of PLC is important, programming language of PLC, uh, software name of the Siemens, PLC, input output, identify of Siemens, logo PLC and then programming. This here only uh, Siemens is uh, installed here and after by after all um, uh, kinds of PLC that is available in the world right now. I will uh, describe of this all uh, kinds of PLC step by steps my next videos. Uh, now we can learn what is PLC. Of beginners must be know what is PLC. Full meanings of PLC is called programmable logic controller. PLC is microprocessor based device that has input output card or circuit that means PCB provides output according to the sequence after work is called PLC that is absolutely dependent on the input and uh, connected to the output output devices here um, so every PLC is uh, available the input output and the PCB that is the processor um, is like a computer here history of PLC invented the first PLC American company which is known as uh, today's Snyder company whose name was sequence controller in 1968 whose model was 084 that means first PLC that is American company that is built that was model is 084 the scientist name was Dick Morley that means first invented inventor of the PLC the, he, he was Dick Morley honorable Dick Morley he is a scientist so the Dick Morley is the father of PLC says however he did not find a market commercially then in 1973 Michael Greenberg invented commercially PLC whose model was 184 in the market advantages of PLC what is advantages of PLC how you can learn um, PLC and why you can learn PLC that is uh, one uh, number one is uh, size is small as a result, it takes less space to control the industry. Size is the most valuable fact of uh, any kind of uh, industry. So, size is small. That means this is a very big facility of uh, any kind of industrialist. Uh, second, communication of plant with computer can be done. Third is energy saves for easy to do troubleshooting for technical person or educated person and five it takes less cost to design a complex controlling system six high speed uh, seven production is high production is that means uh, more than production of a uh, very less time and eight is it takes less manpower manpower is a very big issue of a, any kind of industri industrialist so this is a very big facility and advantages of PLC disadvantages of PLC what is that uh, first, easy circuit design cost more than comparatively, and second is it is uh, difficult to work uh, without engineer or regular person. So, uh, some uh, knowledge or if you have any kind of um, nothing about uh, this um, uh, PLC, so you you cannot you could not afford the PLC. Third is it is difficult to work without non technical person or educated person. It's very big. Um, disadvantages of uh, PLC that means you are not, you are Ill illiterate or uh, no kinds of knowledge about um, this um, you cannot handle of this uh, device applications of PLC application of PLC what is the application what is the sector of PLC uh, nowadays uh, one is uh, textile 
um, spining, spining mill, biomedical, pharmaceuticals, chemical, cement factory, home automation, food factory, robots, manufacturing and controlling, um, etc. Application of PLC, that is um, a sector of um, PLC, that means what is the sector of PLC? That means what is the uh, now uh, uh, nowadays uh, what is the sector of um, uh, PLC that is the uh, textile spinning mill biomedical pharmaceuticals uh, chemical cement factory home automation food factory rubber manufacturing and um, uh, controlling etc. That means every sector in the world right now is application um, and uses of the PLC. Uh, what is next brand of uh, brand um, name of PLC uh, nowadays um, what is the available um, in the market is uh, Siemens, uh, Mitsubishi, Delta, LS, uh, Omron, Allen Bradley, Snada, FedEx, Panasonic. These are all kinds of brands is available uh, in the market right now. So we can use um, any kinds of brand. Um, uh, so, 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 so anymore. Siemens, uh, Mitsubishi, Delta, LS, Omron, Allen Bradley, Snada, FedEx, Panasonic. Uh, is only uh, if this is the brand. When you are choose um, uh, it's the step by steps um, logo. Uh, that means Siemens is a multi kinds of um, uh, um, piece, piece uh, CPU. Uh, Mitsubishi is a multi kind multi kinds of uh, CPU. Delta is also that. LS. So all kinds of PLC. This is the brand name also um, uh, only. Um, but when you are uses the PLC that is multi CPU, um, uh, your use both the very uh, friendly mm, step by step. Uh, I will uh, describe to you uh, what is the input uh, sensing devices and output de sensing device and what is the CPU is absolutely depend um, all kinds of devices uh, of a in a single <laughs> PLC. Sorry. Uh, input devices uh, that is uh, any kinds of sensor that is the um, connected uh, to input module and output module that is the um, connected to the output module so um, uh, input module that is connected to the any kinds of input uh, that um, uh, input device that, that means uh, such as um, uh, push button switch any kinds of sen the sen analog sensor any kinds of um, uh, single uh, sensing devices that's all kinds of um, devices that connected to the input the module and output module that connected absolutely connected to the output module or uh, such as a more motor uh, bulb uh, that means um, that is uh, output that is my destination of um, uh, how would, uh, I can um, uh, operate of this um, load loads and power supply every uh, CPU uh, or every PLC that is dependent two kinds of um, power supply the 24 volt DC and 220 AC this is um, uh, power supply only in the market right now uh, 24 volt DC or 220 volt AC supply um, and this is a central processing unit this is a central processing that uh, depend and absolutely depend on your programming uh, which program you are uh, install of the of your uh, CPU or PLC and that data uh, is a uh, processing uh, and uh, then that, that that was you get the output okay uh, step by steps okay As that means plc work of your input sensing devices and calculating uh, the that um, the reference to the output here what is input sensing devices this is um, uh, uh, is uh, number one is selector or foot button switch this is the input sensing device proximity sensor this is the input sensing device um, uh, three is a transducer the analog in, um, uh, input sensing devices analog sensor RTD thermocouple these are all kinds of devices is input sensing devices and what is output uh, load or what is um, my destination so what um, what would be my uh, on uh, of my uh, output devices and uh, that uh, that is uh, uh, number one is motor is a very mm, uh, very applicable or most applicable device in the mm, any kinds of industry motor heater solenoid bulb lamp etc and um, uh, um, that's all is dependent on the dependent on the um, uh, if of your input sensing devices what is input module module circuit and how does it in internally work in the plc 
is a 24 volt supply of uh, your um, uh, input sensing devices and um, that is the switch okay this is the input uh, is, uh, internal part of your um, plc okay this is switch now you are switch push um that is really internal relay two types of um, uh, plc in the world right now uh, that is uh, one is uh, uh, relay types and uh, uh, second is uh, transistor type okay so this is a relay type um, um, PLC that is uh, dependent is on or off switching devices on or off um, or that means digital zero and one on and off one means uh, on zero means off okay that is um, the switching um, um, applicable uh, devices is all the dependent on the um, relay type PLC okay and uh, the when you are push of your um, uh, switch that is the connected and um, relay is on and um, your optocoupler okay optocoupler is um, connected and that is the uh, connected um, to the internally and input output output uh, input output IC is um, sense of your input sensing devices from now uh, wh which sense you are doing uh, that is uh, will be uh, selector switch or a push button switch or any kinds of analog sensor um, that is uh, uh, sensing uh, how you this uh, input output sensing devices uh, sensed by optocoupler and then go to the cpu okay cpu is realized um, uh, to your dependent on the program okay and then go to the output module circuit diagram that means output part what is that um, uh, doing uh, what is uh, uh, what is uh, here and cpu uh, then go to the um, out input output ic or the input output input input sensing device that also input output ic and output also uh, that is um, uh, have we have, we have input output ic a device IC. This is the final sector. This is the final sector of the uh, any kinds of PLC, and then a physical device. That means 24 volt really external output device. When you are, uh, if um, uh, of your uh, of PLC output volt is 24 volt, and uh, that means uh, your relay 24 volt device is, um, uh, must be your uh, relay will be 24 volt external device. On your 220 device, that is um, um, that is um, uh, 220 um, uh, your power supply is uh, that means. MC magnetic ground conductor is also 220 device. There's no need um, uh, for really a uh, 24 volt um, external device. I have absolutely no not. And that uh, really physical device is need when you operate a 24 volt output um, uh, then uh, go to the relay. And relay is controlled to your uh, 220, 220 volt uh, uh, AC devices. That means when you are operate to the 24 volt by um, 220 volt DC uh, AC, AC uh, um, device, that means um, you must be need of a, a 24 volt um, really external device. You must be you must be need. This is the uh, final situation. This is the final um, uh, situation of your um, uh, PLC, and that is the to, um, uh, your output voltage. Your output voltage of your PLC is 24 volt. That means your physical device must be need 24 volt really external device that connected to the, your um, 220 volt AC uh, devices. Okay. Then um, you go to the what is the programming uh, language in uh, worldwide right now okay is absolutely all kinds of um, uh, language uh, in the programming um, uh, plc in the plc right now the most uses uh, programming language in ever over uh, letter diagram letter diagram is the most useful um, uh, language and second is the functional block diagram and three is in an ins instruction list four is um, structural text five is sequential functional chart is it every um, language is uh, very um, difficult and but um, b most easy and popular language is worldwide uh, right now is ladder diagram very easy and for beginners um, now i suggest to you is you you um, must be initially start to the letter diagram a letter diagram also first language should be letter diagram okay letter diagram is very easy to learn um, about plc or plc programming model software and cable name of a siemens plc this is the most important in the uh, siemens uh, um, brand uh, name is exactly and this is the series wise now uh, first time um, um, siemens um, brand is the uh, build uh, logo plc the very initial and the very useful of beginners a uh, 7200 seven two hundred is 100 kinds of model in the market right now here a 7200 a 7300 a 7200 a 7500 is a uh, 
the different kinds of um, PLC, different kinds of software, and different kinds of uh, cable connected to the any kinds of PLC. Oh my God, this is a very important uh, of a beginner. So you must be know what is the uh, brand um, of uh, what is the brand in the in various kinds of um, now series of um, uh, any uh, any single brand. Um, that's the there's only Siemens that is built uh, logo uh, 200 300 1200 1500 step by steps oh my god this is very uh, flexible and you after I after know what is the descriptions uh, and um, I um, I want to uh, you describe to every uh, my uh, video next video I I want to describe um, fully uh, how it is work in um, in the every uh, and every PLC uh, that, that, that's why um, uh, today uh, no more uh, thanks for watching my video. This is my first video. If you mistakes any kind of that, uh, please uh, uh, forgive me and um, subscribe to me. Uh, please um, uh, subscribe my channel, um, uh, like, share, and comment. Please must be comment. What is uh, um, uh, how does it uh, find uh, to you? Uh, and, uh, inspire to me uh, for the next video. I step by steps um, uh, uh, describe to you from uh, front of your uh, any uh, logo to logo to fifteen hundred uh, Delta and multiple kinds of brands um, that are used in our factory. Uh, uh, programming and um, uh, basic level to basic level to programming any kinds of a PLC it's a multi brand it's a all kinds of PLC I I front up to you is have described um, uh, how to um, how to programming um, of a PLC is a multi brand uh, sim up Siemens after uh, Delta Mitsubishi LS Amron and um, uh, every kinds of um, PLC um, how does it or it programming doing in the um, industry and um, basic level to uh, uh, expert or um, uh, um, more expert levels I want to describe my, um, after by after my all uh, all videos so today's uh, no more uh, please subscribe my channel for the next video